Okay, thanks Nathan. Hi, Chef Conf. Our first award winner this year is, we're gonna do this line, Dan Webb. So, come on up, Dan. Uh, Dan is based in the UK. Um, he's been working with sous chefs a lot, doing some really great work there. Uh, we're really excited to have uh, Dan as part of our community. He's been around a very, very long time. Our second awesome community chef unfortunately couldn't be with us, uh, but Fletcher Nickel will be receiving the award in place of Romain Sertolon, sorry. Uh, he has been um, really working hard on the Habitat uh, core plans and doing a lot of really great work with the Habitat project. So um, we're sad he couldn't be with us. And we're really glad he's part of our community. Our third awesome community chef this year is also from Europe. He's from Austria. I'm pretty sure he knows everyone in the Dock region. Uh, Edmund Hasselvanter. <laughs> Who's got visual on Edmund? Okay, Simon Fisher wasn't Come on, Edmund. watching for Edmund. When you see Edmund, give him a hug. Yeah. Tell Edmund Tell I have Edmund. his backpack. And he'll be like, what? 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 <laughs> yeah, Edmund's great. Finally, we have one employee, awesome community chef, and this is Tim Smith. Uh, Tim has been working really hard. He's been working on Ohio, working on Chef 14. He's been really a major part of our last releases. So. He also has some great shirts. Which shirt is Tim wearing today? <laughs> Come on, Tim. Run, Tim, yeah. run. The other day, Tim was wearing a flamingo shirt. It's pretty awesome. All right, thank you, Mandy, and congratulations Brilliant. to all of our awesome community chefs. Next up, I'd like to bring back to the stage Josh Crossman for our customer awards. Excited to celebrate so many fantastic customers that we have, but there can be only two winners today. Our first winner is for our effortless, uh, automating effortless infrastructure, and this is for a customer that does tremendous work really creating that detect and correct automate motion, uh, being able to get that provisioning and compliance done quickly and scalably. And the winner is IBM. Let's give it a hand for IBM. IBM IGA is responsible for managing the global infrastructure. They don't know this, so they're going to come on up. I'm going to tell them about, I'm going to brag on them when they're coming. They're responsible for all their infrastructure at IBM, and compliance is a critical part of that. And they didn't have anything. And this team, IGA, launched compliance as a code with remediation through Automate. And now they can assess compliance across their global infrastructure in a single view. And they do it quarterly. Uh, they move to, uh, from quarterly updates to automated weekly updates. So fantastic. Great job, Juan. Great job, Ariel. Congratulations. Way Thank to you. go. Give a hug here. One more time for IBM. The second Chef Customer Award is for automating any app anywhere. This is that single way to build, deploy, and manage an app. And the winner of that award goes to Alaska Airlines, everybody's favorite airline. <laughs> Seattle hometown. Welcome to the stage, Alaska. Alaska needed a consistent way to build, deploy, and manage applications across multiple data centers, especially with the integration of Virgin Airlines, and they did it through Habitat. We want to celebrate what Nick and the team have done, so congratulations. Thank you, guys. Great job, Chris. Right, thank you very much. All right. One more time for Alaska Airlines. Thank you to all of our customers, and congratulations to our winners. Next up, please. Join me in welcoming Kimberly Martin back to the stage. Hello, hello. Okay, this is our inaugural first ever Partner of the Year Award. And this partner has an amazing customer centricity. They have invested in the skills and training required to use Chef Services. It is my honor and privilege to welcome Oracy as our first Partner of the Year. Oh, 
All right, one more round of applause for all of our Awesome Chef Award winners. All right, now, I want you to remember that this afternoon, our breakout session... Wait, wait, wait. What? No, we're not done. No, no there's one more award. Adam, we're already running behind. Can we... No, we, yeah, we'll wrap it up, but it matters. There's one more. So, uh, I've been privileged to work with a lot of people over the years and who have done a lot of things for the chef community, but this... Right now, we'd like to give one more award to someone who has just dedicated the bulk of his life to Chef. From the very beginning, when we were just a consulting company and we needed help, the person we called was my friend from childhood, Joshua Timberman. And we'd like to give Joshua a Lifetime Achievement Award. Because for all the people who have done amazing things at Chef, and there are so many, no one has ever done more than Joshua. No one's ever cared more about helping everyone get better in their own experience and putting himself on the line to do that work and to just show up every day and put in that work every single time to make the community better. Joshua, please come on up. Here he comes. There he is. Thanks, Joshua. You're amazing. I'm crying. I've come a long way from playing Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. Still play Dungeons and Dragons. I know, but you know, not with me. But I wish we did. Thank you, Joshua. All right, thank you very much. Now you can have your stage back. Can I get on to the logistics now? Thank yeah, get you. So thank you yeah. so much.